Hey guys, it's Brienne here. So, today I have another one of my like kind of anime, manga, out of my comfort zone, if you will, type of video. At the time I'm filming this, I've actually only uploaded one like manga anime related video to my channel. I want about Kitsu. I love Kitsu. I'll probably be referring to it a bit in this video. I do have another video filmed. I just haven't edited it about my top five favorite anime, I believe it was. So, I decided to film another video about an anime I just recently started watching. It is new, it's like in season. What season are we in? Winter? The winter season, because I think the spring, spring 2020 season just was announced. So, this anime. I personally wasn't really sure how I feel about it. When I first heard it, the concept, obviously you know what anime I'm talking about, because it's like in the title, but I'm referring to Plunderer in case like, you missed that somehow but yeah when I first read this concept went before like it even started like I don't know I was probably watching a video or something that it was explaining the winter 2020 um or winter 2019 winter 2019 anime and so this was one of the anime right off the bat right when I heard about it I was really really interested in read the little thing off of kitsu right now actually watch my like internet act up I'm also wearing pajama pants right now but you can't tell How's everyone's quarantine going? This is, I don't even know how many days in quarantine I've been, like self, so, what is it? Social distance, social distancing. I usually do that, but now that I know I should be doing it, I don't want to be doing it. All right, so this is Plunder. You can't really see that well, I don't believe. I'm on Kitsu, like I mentioned before. I'll read you the little summary that they have there. So it says, in a post-apocalyptic, in a post-apocalyptic, I say that weird, World dominated by the so-called numbers, each human will have their identity branded with their own count, which could define any number related to their life. May it be one's walk distance or amount of compliments given to them by others, this count could lead them to the, to the abyss when it has dropped to zero. In the year 305, the... Oh, fuck. In the year 305 of the... Al Alcyon? Calendar, Hina has inherited a mission from her mother, whose count has... These are big ass words. <laughs> Whose count has depreciated? Depreciated? Is that a word? Depreciated to zero. I, sw I swear I'm not a blonde bimbo and I'm actually somewhat intelligent. I'm just struggling today apparently. To search for the legendary Red Baron. In her adventure, she meets a half mass swordsman named Leech. I feel like I'm saying that wrong. It does not sound like that in the anime, but anyways who tries to hide his identity as he is known as the de as, as he is known as a degenerate for having an incredibly low count. So that took me forever to read. But yeah, so like when I first saw it and I saw like the trailer for it and I was like that just sounds really really interesting. I believe there's another anime or something that kind of sounds similar in that concept. But for me personally, I've never watched anything like that and I was just really really intrigued. But then when I told one of my friends that I actually talk to in real life about anime and that, he's like it's itchy. I was like, "Hmm." I was like, who cares? Like, honestly, who cares? It's also show in action and fantasy. Right up my alley. So, recently, because, like, I've been... I go through periods of, like, watching so much anime or, like, no anime or, like, just reading manga or just, like, literally not doing anything. And so, I decided to start watching anime again. So, I decided to start Plunderer. And I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, it's winter 2020. I'm reading it on here. It premiered January 8th. This is rated... Teens 13 or older? All right. All right, so <laughs> before I started this anime, I went into Kitsu because like I love Kitsu. Um, and I just read like a lot of reviews or reactions and they weren't really the best. They kind of made me very wary. Like some people are like, don't do it to yourself. People said it's boring. It's just terrible. The concept's interesting, but once you watch it, it's not that great. So in my head, I was like, fuck. Like, do I want to start this? Like, to me, it sounds right up my alley, and I know everyone has different tastes, and, like, everyone's allowed to be different. Like, just because I like something doesn't mean you have to. So, I decided to take the leap. And I took the leap, started the first episode. Alright, I might go through my reference. I did make a lot of posts, like, pretty much about every single episode. So I'm gonna reference these. Hopefully this video isn't too long. I don't plan it to make it too long, so I will probably edit a lot. But so... With the first episode, like, the concept, like I said, really drew me in, and, like, just the artwork, it's definitely an anime that, like, I'm really drawn to by the artwork. Like, personally, for me, Jojo, I really want to get into, but the artwork's kind of, like, mm, I don't know. Like, I've heard so many good things, so I am going to start that anime, but I just haven't yet. And so, first episode, we meet, should I, should I say there's spoilers? I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to try to spoil anything, 
um, all my posts, I did put like the spoiler warning just because I don't want to be that person. So yeah, I'm just going to warn you now. Spoilers possibly ahead. There's only 10 episodes at the time I'm filming this. There's 10 episodes aired and I've watched all 10. But again, I'm going to do my best to not really do spoilers. Um, but if I do, it's your own fault. This is a warning. But so we meet this like mask guy. His name's Leech. And in my head, I was like, is this guy the main guy Like that's in the little like poster thing? I was like, no, maybe. I don't know. But so then we meet Hina and she's like this girl, her mom died, it says this in the summary and she has to go find the Red Baron. She's cute, she's cool, um, she's on a mission. So yeah, she's doing her thing and then she meets this guy. And this guy is a complete other perv. And like I knew that, like it's itchy. So like, you know, there's probably gonna be perv, not probably, there is gonna be perverted shit. There's gonna be sexual innuendos, there's gonna be like big ass boobs. There's gonna be like all that because it's... That, that's what it's under. That's like one of the categories. So like this guy, Leech. I'm probably not saying that right, but oh well. And like he kind of annoyed me. I'm not gonna lie. Like I was like, Ugh. I was like, hopefully, like I know he's a main character, but like, mm, I hope he's not. He is a main character, and at the end of the episode, you discover he is one of the main characters. Yeah, like he's just kind of like annoying, and I wasn't crazy about him, but I was like, whatever. He's clearly a main character. He can't be that bad. Um, and there are times that he does like have redemption and I'm like, is this all just an act? Like, is he actually a perv? Is this just for a show? So yeah, like, I don't really know how I feel. I think I like him watching more episodes, but yeah, he definitely has like his weird pervy ways. But anyways, it's itchy, so like, hmm. And also on that note, there is a scene in like a few scenes, a scene in the first episode that like, I know it's gonna be sexual in nature, like, I, I'm aware, I'm aware, <laughs> but it's more into like an assault than just being like perverted and like okay, um, and there hasn't been any more like really scenes like assaulty scenes or anything like that, but when I first started it, I was like, should I give this another try? Should I do like another, should I try the second episode? But yeah, so that's like how my thoughts going into the first episode and finishing the first episode. I was like, hey, like, I, th I don't mind the main character, like the, the Kina. I know Leech is going to turn into some huge character. I know he's a giant perv, but in my head, I'm like, is he really a perv? And like, these are just my thoughts. And then there's also some vibes that like, I'm not really crazy about, but they haven't really popped up since. So like, yellow. So, the second episode, going into the second episode, um, it definitely was interesting. It definitely wasn't boring. To me, I was drawn in because there were fight scenes and it was like, you kind of sort of learn more about Leech, the main ma male character, um, but not really a lot. But it's enough to kind of draw you in and want to learn more about him. Like, there, I personally found it a lot more redeemable in the second episode talking about, like, the main characters and that. I didn't find anything boring personally, but the ending, I always watch the endings, like, you know, after the ending credits and that, just to see what the next episode, like, the little preview for the next episode. And that one, honestly, for episode three, the preview had so many panties. And, like, I was like, I'm gonna hate this fucking episode. <laughs> like, I'm not even gonna lie. I was not gonna watch the third episode because I was like, okay, like, I know it's perverted, but like, how, like, in my head, there was no way for me to wrap around how I was gonna enjoy the third episode, but guess what? I did. So in the third episode, for me personally, this is just me analyzing the show and everything. To me, it gave me a lot more questions on Leech, the main male character. Um, I'm only keep saying main male character because I feel I know I'm saying his name right, wrong, and I don't want to get attacked for doing so. He just acts so different. Like there's times that he acts so like kind, professional, like so like heroic, and then there's times that he acts like a giant loser. That's a giant pervert. And to me, like, why? Like, I want to know, is this an act? Does he have, like, split personalities? Like, what's going on? And, like, to me, that's just something that draws me more into this anime because I want to learn more about him. I want to learn if this really is him, if he's acting. And, like, I don't know. I feel like I might be taking this too deep. <laughs> but that's just me. And for me personally, I really like the art. And there were, like, a lot of scenes that actually had me laughing out loud. Like, there's one scene that um, Leech is drinking with another girl, Lynn, I think her name is, like they're sharing a drink. And like his facial expressions and just like the artwork had me dying. And like for an episode that I thought I would hate just from the preview, 
like I really enjoyed and like that's awesome like I don't know and so they also really talk a lot about a ballot holder but they don't really go into it a lot like I personally I haven't read this manga or anything so I don't have a lot of knowledge going into this anime so for me personally like I have like lots of questions and things going on in my head so yeah I am really really in I, at the point I was really intrigued I had so many questions that I wanted to get answered so of course I had to keep watching and they do tend to end each episode kind of on a cliffhanger and for episode three they did have an awesome cool character that they just introduced like right at the end so I was really like intrigued and wanted to learn more about him. Episode 4 was really really good like there's fight scenes and to me like I just really really liked it and same with like episode 5 like I don't want to spoil too much I've said that I just kicked my camera but I really really am trying not to spoil it so I'm not sure if I'm super super helpful but honestly is this my favorite anime? I wouldn't say this is my favorite anime I probably wouldn't add this to like my favorites or like want to buy the mangas or DVDs just from what I've seen so far it is an anime that I'm really really enjoying and I have so many questions and like I can't wait for the next episode I'm personally not someone that likes watching anime that aren't finished I like completed anime because I like being able to binge watch everything and like learn everything and obsess with everything all at once. I don't like having to wait a week at a time for the next thing. I'm the same with manga. I'd rather have all the completed manga read before I do any like continuing like ongoing because I'm an in I'm an impatient person I don't like waiting and yeah but I just want to talk about episode six really quickly as well because that was just like another episode that like I kind of grew respect and more interest for this anime because like I personally didn't see that episode going the way it did I kind of was just like okay like this is gonna happen but it kind of took like a bit of a darker note that was like kind of the first time that the anime kind of did such a dark thing aside from like the first episode when we learn a bit about Hina's past I think her name's Hina I hope I'm saying that right and to me the fact that it didn't go with like such a happy like to me obvious approach like I definitely was like okay this is gonna happen because like that just made sense and was like to me a cliche if you will but that didn't happen and to me that also really really drew me in that it wasn't just like your typical ending that I thought it would be and it also left me with more questions because there are more secrets and more to Leech's past that gets touched upon a bit in this episode I am also kind of curious though if like my camera got full so I totally lost my train of thought that's a problem I don't remember what I was talking about Oh, I know. I remember what I was talking about. To me, like, everyone seems to kind of really love, like, the main character. The male main character. So, like, it's almost like a... How do I say this? A harem? Is that how you say that word? To me, I'm starting to wonder if it's, like, a harem or, like, maybe not. I don't know. But I kind of got those vibes. <laughs> it's not labeled as one or anything like that. But, yeah, I don't know. To me, I just wanted to talk about this anime. I doubt I talked about it very well. Still kind of new to this kind of video. It is a lot of my comfort zone, I'm not gonna lie. I normally don't really talk about anime or manga because I don't really have friends that like anime or manga that much. But yeah, I just wanted to try something new because like it's 2020, I can do what I want. <laughs> new year, new me. Um, but yeah, anime is honestly just something I've always loved. I know everyone has their different types and I know a lot of people, it seems like a lot of people don't really like this anime. But to me, like, I'm just really, really intrigued by it. I just have so many questions that part of me just wants to start the manga just so, like, I can answer these questions myself without having to wait a week. Constantly wait a week. Constantly wait however freaking many weeks until this is finished. But yeah, I hate uncompleted. I hate un uncompleted anything. Do you know how many manga and, like, manhwa, I don't know if I'm saying that one right, um, I have started? only to find that they're on a hiatus and like a hiatus from like 2005 happens to me all the time but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video it's probably a really really rambly video and all over the place but ever since I finished watching episode 10 I've wanted to film this video I think the newest episode comes out in like four days or something but yeah it's, it's just really really action-packed and for me personally it leaves me wanting more there are some scenes that I'm like okay <laughs> but like really what show and stuff doesn't have those scenes so you're just like whatever if you guys have watched this anime let me know how you enjoyed it or if you absolutely hated it because I could see why some people hate it but yeah hopefully I don't get hated on for having this opinion or summarizing this uh anime terribly but now is the time to start so if you guys are looking for a new anime and this kind of sounded up your alley now is a great time to start watching it because we all should be social distancing and staying inside, which I'm sure a lot of us people do anyways. 
because I personally usually do. But yeah, don't forget to wash your hands and other crap like that, guys. It's We don't want to spread this virus more than it's already been spread. Also, I edited a video. This is completely... I'm just rambling now. I edited a video and like literally my like balayage, if you will, <laughs> it was up to like here and now it's all the way down here. So you can tell I edited a very old video. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff down below. Give me advice. Kind advice. <laughs> um, let me know what other things you'd like to hear about. I actually am currently watching... Uh, Chi... Well, how do I say it? I can't remember how to say it properly. Chihaya Furu? Chihaya Furu? Chihaya Furu? Don't know if I'm saying that, but I started that anime because it was another anime I was really, really interested in, like, hearing about it. It's under, it's classified as a sports anime though, so I was like, oh, I'm gonna hate this. But I actually really, really like it. And I asked for some uh, anime, and I asked for some anime suggestions on Kitsu, even though I have so many want to watch. But like, I always like hearing from others because like, I don't know, I just like hearing from others occasionally. And someone reminded me and mentioned this one, and wow, I've been loving it. I might do another video about it, like make another, make a video on it. Possibly just the first season once I finish it. There is a second season and I believe a third season is coming out now And yeah, it's really really good. It honestly gives me feels and I'm usually someone that's like emotionless and like I don't have emotions But like wow that anime makes me feel some type of way and I never would have thought it would but yeah that, um, I would probably classify that as possibly one of my favorite animes um, from what I've seen so far I think on like episode 7 or so and yeah but yeah, I'm rambling, so I'm going to get going. I hope you guys are having a great day or had a great day. Stay safe out there, and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Hope you like this video.